How to register to vote in Pennsylvania. This presentation will help college and university students complete the voter registration application with an online application or printed application including information about mail-in voting. The League of Women Voters of Greater Pittsburgh is a nonprofit 501c3 nonpartisan organization neither supporting nor opposing candidates or political parties. Confused about voting and elections? The League of Women Voters is here to help. Let's walk through how to register to vote in Pennsylvania. 84% of youth say they have the power to change the country. But how? Where will you be living and voting next election? If you are graduating from high school, will you temporarily live away from that address, such as at a college, in the military, at a tech prep school, or other location? Note that Pennsylvania law allows eligible students living away from home to choose either their home address or their new address when registering to vote. You will have three choices. One, I want to go home to vote at my home polling place. This is easy. Just make sure you use your home address when you register and that you are home to vote on election day. Not going home, but I want to vote for candidates from my home district, especially important for municipal elections. Use your home address when you register to vote. Apply for mail-in ballot online at vote.pa.gov or at your state's voter registration portal. When you receive your ballot, immediately follow the directions to complete it and return it to the address provided. Number three, vote where I currently receive my mail in Pennsylvania. Go to vote.pa.gov and register to vote before October 24, 2022 or, if you are already registered, update your voter registration with your current address at least 15 days before the election. Be aware of Pennsylvania's deadlines when registering to vote or using a mail-in ballot. To be eligible to vote, you must be a U.S. citizen, must be 18 years old on or by the next election day, you must be a Pennsylvania resident for 30 days prior to the next election and must have a PEN.ID number or Pennsylvania driver's license number or the last four digits of your social security number. Are you a citizen who feels you are not eligible and cannot vote? Or are you a citizen who has never registered to vote? We have information for you. The League of Women Voters' mission is to make reliable voter and election information available to all eligible citizens. So know the facts. With only a few exceptions, most citizens in Pennsylvania are eligible to vote. This explainer of voting rights of convicted felons, convicted misdemeanants, and pretrial detainees can be found at vote.pa.gov in this Pennsylvania Department of State brochure. Or you can find this graphic at lwvpgh.org slash resource underscore library. Did you know that you have four ways to register to vote in Pennsylvania? You can register online or by mail or in person at your county voter registration office and at PennDOT and some other government agencies. Choice number one, you can apply online. Completing the online application in Pennsylvania is easy if you have a Pennsylvania driver's license or a PennDOT ID, or now you can also use the last four digits of your social security number, but you will have to upload your signature. Remember that only one form of ID is needed. Choice number two, you can apply with a printed application. 
Completing the printed application in Pennsylvania is easy if you have a Pennsylvania driver's license or PennDOT ID, because your signature will already be on file, or the last four digits of your social security number. Again, only one form of ID is needed. Go to vote.pa.gov to download and print the application, or you can call Allegheny County Elections Office at 412-350-4500. And remember to choose a party when you register to vote. Primaries in Pennsylvania are closed. This means that in order to vote in a spring primary when you register to vote, you must enroll in one of the two major political parties, either Democratic or Republican. There is no independent party in Pennsylvania. Other political bodies, like the Green and Libertarian parties, may have candidates on general election ballots in the fall. However, any registered voter may vote in any election, including the primary, if there is a ballot question, constitutional amendment, or a special election. Electronic registration for any state is easy with TurboVote.org, and it only takes a few minutes. Register if you are from any state. You will be routed to your state's voter portal. You'll receive text or email reminders which help get voters to the polls on election day. Pennsylvania nonpartisan candidate information can be found at the League of Women Voters website, www.vote411.org. You can find nonpartisan candidate information, including your sample ballot, links to the candidate's websites, and side-by-side -side questions the candidates answer. You can make your own personalized list of candidates who you wish to vote for. You can register if you are from any state and it is routed to your state's voter portal. You can choose to receive League of Women Voters email reminders or choose to receive text message and email reminders from Rock the Vote, which is the voter registration platform used in Vote 411. And no worries, mailing your voter registration application. If you live in Allegheny County, after completing the printed registration application, mail it to Allegheny County Elections Office, 542 Forbes Avenue, Room 312, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 15219-2913. Don't forget the stamp. If you do not live in Allegheny County, you can call the Department of State at 1-717-787-5288. Out of state, go to www.vote.org. Now we'd like to explain how to vote by mail. Many citizens have questions about mail-in voting. Recently, no excuse mail-in voting has been upheld by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court as a valid method of voting. For those individuals who have difficulty voting in person for many reasons, Voting with a mail-in ballot may be for you. While using a no-excuse mail-in ballot may be easier, absentee voting has not changed. You can still apply for an absentee ballot if you will be absent from your polling place on Election Day. If you are going to vote with a mail-in or absentee ballot, you must complete the application. To apply for a mail-in or absentee ballot, you can do so online at vote.pa.gov or call the Allegheny County Elections Office at 412-350-4500 for a printed application. Also, Información en Español and other languages at 1-717-787-5288. Or at your state's voter registration portal, which you can reach through vote Org. Now for your Pennsylvania voter registration card. In about three weeks after you register to vote, this official looking envelope will arrive in your mail. And inside, you'll find your voter registration card. Remember to look for it. Your voter registration ID card shows your polling place 
and can be used as voter ID at the polls on election day. If you don't receive your ID card in three weeks, contact your county election office. Allegheny County Elections Office phone number is 412-350-4500. Not in Allegheny County? Call 1-717-787-5288. Now this information is for first-time voters. If you are a first-time voter or voting in a polling place for the first time, you are required to show one form of approved ID. Other than the above, you are not required to show ID at the polling place in Pennsylvania. Approved photo IDs include those with your name, such as Pennsylvania driver's license or PennDOT ID card, ID by any Pennsylvania government agency, an ID issued by the U.S. government, your U.S. passport, your U.S. Armed Forces ID, your student ID with the date on it, or an employee ID. Those approved non-photo IDs that include your name and address can be your voter registration card, a non-photo ID by any Pennsylvania government agency, a firearm permit, a current utility bill with your name and address, a current bank statement with your name and address, a current paycheck with your name and address, or a government check also having your name and address. If you need help getting valid ID documents, go to voteriders.org. The Make a Plan Explainer can be found in the League of Women Voters Pittsburgh Voter Resource Library. It's important to know that if you are an eligible voter, you have the right to vote. The Election Protection Coalition is there for any citizen who needs help with Election Day problems. You can call 1-866-687-8683. Phone lines in other languages are available. This Know Your Rights Explainer can be found on our website at lwvpgh.org and the Voter Resource Library. You matter. Your vote matters. Your voice matters. Voting makes your voice heard in one way that affects real change, by resulting in the election of officials who make the policies and laws that affect us all.